Los Angeles International Airport, 9.20 a.m. local time. The FBI says Paul Anthony Ciancia, a 23-year-old white male, enters Terminal 3, pulls a rifle from a bag, and opens fire. At the security checkpoint, TSA officers who are not armed are shot. One is killed. He proceeded up into the screening area where our TSA screeners are and continued shooting and went past the screeners back into the uh, airport itself. Authorities say after shooting his way through the security checkpoint, the gunman manages to make it all the way down this hallway. They say he's stopped by authorities here near a Burger King in the food court area. Hundreds run for their lives. It was a complete panic. People were screaming, um, you know, and saw children crying. Pure and utter mayhem. I mean, people were tripping over each other on the floor, bags everywhere, on, crying, guys. screaming. Everybody started like flying down the hallway and they were just like jumping over chairs, jumping over people, hiding. And we were kind of trapped at the end of the terminal. Trapped with nowhere else to escape, some passengers run onto the airport tarmac. Others use anything they can to protect themselves. Second shots went in and then I just grabbed luggage and I started making walls and walls out of luggages. And then I could see that guy as he's walking towards the escalator and he's just pointing down. After making it hundreds of feet into the terminal, the gunman is shot by police multiple times in the chest and lives. Los Angeles Airport Police responded immediately to the, to the calls. They tracked the individual through the airport and engaged him in gunfire in Terminal 3 and were able to successfully take him into, into custody. His motive is still unclear, but what is known is the gunman intended to cause much more destruction. Sources say he had three magazines of ammunition for his assault rifle. Well, the story is still developing as investigators are gathering physical evidence, questioning witnesses and bring, trying to get a picture of the alleged killer into sharper focus. Again, he's a 23-year-old male, Paul Anthony Ciancia. Now, some of what we're learning fitting a by now familiar pattern, lone male with assault rifle, possibly motivated by hatred of the federal government.